If you like this video, please press the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also give it a thumbs up. You can also support this channel with a donation by using the link in the description. Here we are going to discuss a few key concepts of the information universe. From there, we will take these concepts and what we already know and develop a more detailed theory. From there, we will be able to set the stage for working with relativity within this theory. These key concepts are the universe is fundamentally information, time proceeds as changes are calculated, quantum units are the units of these calculations. When a wave function collapses, the results are non-deterministic. The wave function collapse occurs when information available about a system is observed. Calculations are not made where observation is impossible. Information available about a system becomes permanent when observed. The last point that this can occur is when the information is observed by a conscious observer. These concepts extend logically from a combination of the first one and experimental evidence. They formed the foundation upon which everything else follows. Now this is numeric information but not necessarily binary. This numeric information forms the basis of what we call reality. It gives our reality a virtual nature. What is unique about time is the fact that the past is determined, but the future is not. Quantum mechanically, this means that the future exists only as probabilities. Time progresses as the probabilities become determined events. The units that are used in these calculations are the natural units. These quantum units are Planck's original units, and they vary from the ones commonly used in textbooks by the factor of the square root of 2 pi. Here are the main quantum units. Quantum length, quantum time, quantum mass, quantum charge, and quantum temperature. The advantage of these units is that all of the important physical constants are equal to 1, effectively getting rid of them. There are also derived quantum units of quantum area, quantum momentum, quantum volume, and quantum energy. There are further derived units of quantum force, quantum acceleration, quantum density, and quantum frequency. The calculations of a wave function collapse produce specific results. However, these results are not deterministic. There is nothing to be discovered going on underneath that would allow the specific results to be predetermined. The collapse of the wave function is a change in the wave function resulting from observation of information about a system. There are different possibilities as to where in the process this occurs. The most likely places are some form of classical recording or observation by a conscious observer. Within an information-based system, it is a waste of resources to calculate what cannot be observed. This means that even the wave function does not progress in places where observation is forever impossible. This situation occurs in any place from which light cannot reach an observer. Quantum erasure shows that you can potentially have information about a system. However, there are points in the process where this information can be erased as if it never existed. The information will become permanent when some information about the system is observed, forcing the wave function to collapse. After this point, erasing unobserved information does not change the results. While it is possible that there are other points where the information is observed, Observation by a conscious observer is the last possible point that this can be. This is because in all experiments, erasure of data after observation by a conscious observer does not change anything. There are several limiting factors. The resulting histories need to be consistent. The resulting histories need to be honest. 
and the resulting histories limit future possibilities. Some conclusions can be drawn from these principles. Quantum length is the length of the natural length basis vector. Quantum length is the smallest calculated length, and space is flat over one quantum length. Quantum time is the time period of the natural time basis vector. Quantum time is the smallest calculated time. Nothing occurs in less than one quantum time. The universe is finite because there would be no calculations beyond the visible universe. Nothing happens inside black holes because there would be no calculations within them. Observed events that require previous events would indicate that those events are part of the actual timeline. The wave function of a particle or group of particles represents the numeric values of the quantum mechanical field at every quantum volume of space-time. This wave function is deterministic and is calculated across space-time. When the wave function collapses, the results are non-deterministic within the constraints of allowed probabilities. The quantization of space-time itself results in the infinitesimals of calculus becoming real as you near the quantum length level. It results in dy dx effectively becoming delta y over delta x. Mathematical structures become discontinuous, such as this sine wave. At the quantum length level, this becomes a real pattern for integrals. This means that the information universe actually simplifies math when using quantum units. While in theory this will work on any scale, as long as you are using quantum units, it is not practical on large scales because of the large number of units you would have to deal with. This means that derivatives and integrals are still the practical solution for most scales. Unlike most attempts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, the information universe actually simplifies much of the math. This is actually one of the factors that makes the information universe promising. Here are some upcoming subjects. Working with special relativity, unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity, quantum gravity, what this says about reality, unifying natural and supernatural, fine-tuning this theory, predictions, how this can be falsified, why this requires God.